33 to 16. And this was a nasty loss here. Eagles allowed 24 points in the first half. And at one point in the first half, the Eagles had zero yards. There's a picture floating out there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers literally had over 150 yards and the Eagles had zero. The offense did not get going. And I'm going to put this blame on them as an organization from head to toe. But I wouldn't be right if I didn't give credit to Jalen Hurts because what kind of offense are you running over there where you can't get a single yard after you have Saquon Barkley in your backfield and you got the receivers that the Eagles have over there? I can't stand behind it. Hurts, to me, from what I've witnessed, is the most the most overrated quarterback in the NFL. Jalen Hurts is the most overrated quarterback in the NFL. He's a more athletic Brock Purdy with more turnovers, even more turnovers than Brock Purdy. I give him all the athleticism. Hurts being a more athletic Brock Purdy, but turning the ball over don't do nothing but help when he's picking up a first down. If he can't control the offense and run the offense and limit his turnovers, what good are you doing out here? What good is the Eagles doing paying you $255 million? It's not good. And I say Hurts is overrated because mainly the turnover ratio is just not adding up to his production on the field. He's had at least one turnover in 12 straight regular season games. He's had 27 turnovers total since 2023. He's currently top five in turnovers this season, and he's consistently, consistently been top five in interceptions over the past two seasons. Jalen Hurts is not a top five quarterback. I don't want to hear any of that noise. Jalen Hurts is not the guy that y'all think he is. The Eagles, as an organization, is the team and the franchise y'all think they are. They have the pieces. They have the hype. They have the branding. Jalen Hurts is not that guy. You can swap maybe three or four, even actually, no, even more than that. You can swap about several quarterbacks in the NFL, and their production would be much better than what Jalen Hurts is doing on the Eagles. All of these touchdowns and, and these statistics you see about, oh, he scored another touchdown and, and all of that stuff. I, it, look, it's cool. But if I, I would score a touchdown, too, if somebody had to just push me across the one-yard line. I, I guarantee you. And if you listen to this, I'm sure they could push you right across the one-yard line in, in fourth and inches and get a touchdown. It's, it's ridiculous, man. And, and, I, and to his credit, I know I said a lot about him. He's getting dogged out, whatever. But to his credit, Jalen Hurts, I, I mean, yes, he is very athletic. He's a, he's a solid quarterback. He belongs in the NFL. I don't want to get that picture, you know, depicted in the wrong way. He deserves to be in the NFL. He's a, he's a, okay, he's a good quarterback. I'm not going to sit here and tell you he's not a good quarterback. But when you, people say, oh, he's top five and he's the best ever and, oh, he's, you know, top three and one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now, oh, that's all nonsense, bro. That is nonsense because that's not the case. That is just not the case at all. He's athletic with a big arm, but that's nothing we haven't seen before with any quarterback in the NFL. I'd rather take a quarterback who is unathletic with a big arm and limits his turnovers much more than a quarterback who can run and, and throws a turnover, throws an interception every game. 